barriers. There are so many kinds, aren't there? Railroad barriers, street barriers, town barriers, and so on. But the strangest are the kind of barriers which men set up against each other, separating nations and people. In just a brief moment, I'll be back to set you off on tonight's tense melodrama. Through meadows or fields or across hills or valleys, men create borders to separate one nation from another. Our play tonight deals with two expatriate Americans of different types and interests were among the thousands who moved back and forth across the boundaries of European countries. The excitement which erupts from their strange meeting creates the title of our play called Border Incident. This is an American passport. Although it only costs him ten dollars, it's one of the most valuable treasures an American can have. Without it, he cannot travel abroad, nor for a fortune can he expect the protection which this simple green document requests in the name of the sovereign United States. Wonderful. Well, Look, do you mind? I'm in a hurry. I've got a date with an Alf tomorrow morning. I am sorry, Mr. Jefferson, but there are other Americans in Europe. Oh, hello, Mr. Jones. Winter here, Vice Consul. Yes, I'm listening. I... Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Well, very well, Mr. Jones. Now, my advice is you report it to the police. You can use my name. Now, if they can't help you, well, drop in and see me. Yes. Oh, yes, we'll put the entire resources of the United States behind it. Yes, I right, thank you. Well, goodbye. The first thing that an American does when arriving in France is lose something. What, Mrs. Jones from Omaha? Worse, four wheels and a spare tire off a brand new cab. In Europe. Yeah, that's better for four months. Looks kind of naked without the wine stands. I had one on the back, shaped like a dancing girl. There's a penalty for defacement. You know, I want you to sign these two. That's an affidavit of loss and an application to the State Department for an extension. Don't lose it again. We'll make you stay in France the rest of your life. Yeah, not such a bad idea at that. Oh, America isn't such a bad place, do they tell me? Yeah. So is the world. Yeah. Uh, these are all right. Uh, Jefferson. Huh. Lucky one of your namesakes stayed home. Look, I came here for a passport, not a pep talk. Yeah. Are you thinking of crossing the border up the mountain here at Patank, Mr. Jefferson? Yeah, why? You missed it, I'm afraid. They closed the frontier there at 5 in the afternoon. You'll have to wait in the morning. Go across with the goats. Well, sometimes I prefer goats. Anything else you want? Yes, ten dollars. Cheap at half the price. Mm. How much is that going to cost me? The price is three hundred fifty thousand francs this year. A thousand dollars for a passport? Are you kidding? No doubt they are cheaper because of that, Monsieur. Still too much. It depends on how much Monsieur wishes to become an American citizen. There are other countries. They have a selection. The smaller come cheaper, is that it? It is a matter of supply and demand, Monsieur, just like any other commodity. It seems everyone wishes to become an American citizen. Why, I do not know. No, no, I'm one. Unfortunately, good American passports do not grow on bushes. I wish I could obtain more of them. How do I know this one's okay? An American citizen was careless only yesterday, monsieur. There has been no time for the number to be circulated. The grand. That's robbery. That is the price, monsieur. Here. Sous la table, monsieur, s'il vous plaît. Under the table. How about taking a look at it first? Jefferson. How about the photograph? That too can be arranged, monsieur, for 25,000 francs extra, with the official stamp. You... Your room will be ready in a minute, monsieur. Thanks. Turn the frontier open. 
Nine o'clock, monsieur. Le linge pour Vinci. Marie, le linge pour Vinci. Hey, Luigi. Bon, monsieur. Pour Vinci, hein? Oui. See, you have another Henry Jefferson in the hotel. Yes, also an American. It is a common name in America, eh? A great uh, patriot, no? Yeah, something like that. Tell me, is my namesake in? No, he is out, but he is expected back for dinner. I'd appreciate it if you'd point him out. I'd like to meet him. Mais oui, certainement, monsieur. Uh, voilà votre clé. Bonsoir, monsieur. <laughs> Bonjour, welcome, monsieur. Qu'est-ce que vous désirez? Uh, Susanna. It is not often we have two jolies monsieur Americans. Mademoiselle, won't you join me? It's kind of empty here. Oh, thank you. It is not nice to drink alone. Oh, please. Uh, what'll it be? Says I know. M Madame? Encore, I says I know. Yeah, monsieur. Just passing through? Yes. And you? The same thing. I guess I'm always passing through. Oh. It is your trademark, art. Oh, that. Slops of a memorable Chianti. Useful, too. Helps a guy to recognize his passport when he loses it. You lost it? And found it again. Thanks to the little lady on the cover. Monsieur is a great traveler. Sure. There's a memory on every page. Spaghetti sauce, reblochon cheese, bouillabaisse, Greek mud and Sicilian wine. A telephone number of names and faces I can't even remember. Oh, that's not very gallant. Maybe not. Well, that's the way I am, I guess. I only remember places. These are my memories. Empty pages make you feel like a tourist. You're traveling on business, then? Nope. Strictly pleasure. You are not a tourist? Oh, heaven forbid. Tourists go home. I don't. That's the difference. Did you ever go home? Well, what's home? Just another place. A place with whiskers on it. A place that grows roots for your feet and tentacles that reach out around you and hold you there till you die. I can't understand a man like you. Without ties. Well, what good are ties? Except to tie you down. Life's too short. There's too much to see. But don't you feel lonely sometimes? No. I get along with myself. But none of us is separate from each other. A man has to fill his world with people he can love and hate. That is life. You can't just be indifferent. That's where you're wrong. You like it cool, though? I get more ice. No, that's fine. Just like snow. Ah, uh, I think it's the purest. There. Just like a home. Madame! Je viens. Pardon, I am wanted. If you want, you ring. So. You doing anything till dinner? If you want, you ring. So. Now, how about taking a stroll while the light lasts? It's a wonderful view from just above the hotel. Maybe I could prove my point. I could be convinced. Here's to your being convinced. <laughs> A 
That's Von Denis. I spent many a wonderful day in her company and never regretted a minute of it. And that's Mount Rosie. You can just see her behind that shoulder. She's tempestuous and unpredictable. Visa, Ventura, they're easy at all times. And Paradis, she's the most fickle of the lot. You are funny. I'm sorry. I, I sometimes forget the whole world isn't in love with Mark. What do you get from climbing mountains? You get away. From people? From people, from yourself. You don't like people? I can take them, or I can leave them. But you take mountains. When you get involved with a mountain, what's the worst that can happen to you? You can fall off and get killed. But you've no one to blame but yourself. But with people, it's different. It's neither one thing nor the other. Mountains ask nothing from you. They give you something that no person ever could. Can be? You're a strange kid. Pretty trusting, aren't you? Why should anyone trust anyone? Yes, why? Be careful you don't lose it again. I don't intend to. I'm sorry, I must have passports on the brain today. I thought you didn't like people. I can make exceptions. I think we should go now. We should miss dinner. With me? Maybe. Who's that Joe I saw you outside with? His name? Henry Jefferson. Henry J I swear! He found out he's got the passport. Well, see, monsieur. Has the other Mr. Jefferson returned yet? Yes, monsieur. Number 13. Thanks. Au revoir, monsieur. Stop it! No! Mr. Jefferson? Come on in. Well, now I'm beginning to understand. Kind of funny if we'd all been standing in line at the border tomorrow morning. Lucky we met up. Yeah, lucky. Where'd you get my passport? I bought it. How much? As a matter of interest. One grand. Didn't know I was worth so much. You're not. I am. You must be rich. No. Desperate. Hand it over. Sorry, I happen to value it. Besides, it's no use to you now that I'm here. I'm not kidding. Hand it over. Teresa gets it. Oh, a double actor. Shut up. Let's see if he's got another one. Now sit over there. I got some talking to do. Yeah, I guess you have. You care if I smoke? Light him one. Right. Top pocket. Aren't you being a little silly? I'm asking the questions around here. Your passport says you haven't been home for four years. How come? What's it to you? Might be nice to know who I am. Yeah, nobody much. Whichever way you look at it. Why haven't you been home? I didn't want to. Home is any place to me. Any place without strings. Trouble? No. I've paid my taxes. Now look, speak up. This is serious. I want to know if it's dangerous to use your passport. If you want an honest answer? No. Unless you get caught. What are you sticking around joints like this for? You scared or something? Ask her. I don't want to bore you. See your husband. Come on now, answer me what I'm asking you. I don't like people. And you're a good example. I don't like to get mixed up with people. So if you stay abroad, to stay away from tourist spots, there are no people. Just foreigners. You got a family? No. Dependent? Just me. You in love with anybody except yourself? What do you think? What are you heading for? Switzerland. I was planning on climbing a couple of mountains. What's your racket? 
My what? What's your pitch? What do you do for a living? Nothing. What do you do? That's my business. You got a lot of friends in Europe? I told you, I don't try to make friends. In that case, they won't miss you. And neither will she. Tommy! Why did you do that? It's the only thing I could do. With the passports now, he knows everything. He'd talk. His life or mine. And after waiting for eight years, I'm not taking any chances. But what are you going to do with him? I'll take him up to the mountains. He can have a climbing accident. By the time they find him, he'll be across the border and safe. You take this and look after him. I want to get his car. I can stop. I'm going to lock the door. Don't answer anybody but me. Still allowed to smoke? Smoke if you like, but keep on the bed. Did you put this towel on my head? Teresa. Well, what's he going to do with me? I don't know. Take you somewhere and leave you. I don't know if I like the sound of that. What would you do if I were to get up and just walk out? Shoot you. Supposing you missed? The door's locked on the outside. Oh, I see. So he doesn't trust you either. Why should anyone trust anyone? <laughs> yes, why? So you'd really kill me. Why, I wonder? Keep on the bed. And if I don't? During the war, I shot a certain number of Germans. Well, but that was war. This is also war, but private. Maybe I can help you. A man who doesn't like people. What do they want him for? Nothing. Nobody wants him. Yes, they do. They want him for some other killing, don't they? How did you know? I didn't. I guessed. I put two and two together and made three. You're stuck on him, aren't you? Want me to help you? Get back! How'd you ever get mixed up with a guy like that, anyhow? He has nobody but me. And do you love him? Enough to do this for him? He loves me. He has been always very good with me. There's nobody else to help him. Doesn't it bother you, killing a man you don't know? That you might never have seen? Might never see again? If we don't get away from here, get through the border, he might as well be dead. Where does it end up for you, this killing? Why? planning to do for him? I have a relative in Tongi. With the passport, we could get there and buy the papers of an Italian citizen. There's a job. It's all arranged. In America, they think he's dead. Who did you kill there? How much did she tell you? Nothing. You ask me questions, or I'm asking you some. Go on. It was in 42. I was just a kid. I got drafted. There was a fight in some clip joint, and the guy got hit a bit too hard, I guess, because he cooled. The next day, we were shipped overseas to Italy. Sometime around Casino, they tipped me off. I was wanted back home. I volunteered for patrol. I got captured pretty quick. I've been on the lam ever since. I was with the partisans, and we rescued him. He lived with us and fought with us. He's not the only one. The whole world is full of men and women hiding from one another. Yeah, I guess that's right. One way or another. What do you know about it? 
What's the difference of your hide, your rest of your life, or spend it in prison? Now listen, your problems are your own. I don't want any part of them. I'm not judging anybody. But it seems to me that your girlfriend here deserves a break. I didn't know people cared that much for each other. I can't figure why, looking at you. But that's none of my business. So beat it. Get out and keep going. Don't bother me. Where are you going? I am leaving you, Tommy. From now on, you will have to look after yourself. I can't help you anymore. You can't leave me now, Teresa. You're all I've got. It's no use. All this hiding and running. You can't hide or run from yourself. What do you mean? You're going with that punk. You fix it between yourselves. I'm telling you, if you go with him, I'll kill you both. That's your way out, isn't it? Killing. I know now what you would have done to him in the mountains. And you would kill me, too. You will always go on killing wherever you are, if you don't find another way. I know now. That's why I am leaving you. Passport. What about him? I don't know. Thanks to you. And you? Does it matter to you about people? Not much, but I'm learning. I never knew there were people like you. You find that interesting? Yes, very. What do you know about people? You're just cold and selfish and indifferent. What use are you to anybody? Revolve. Merci, monsieur. Madame. Can I at least drive you to the bus? We don't go the same way. You and I. I don't need your help. There's nothing you can do for him now. 